Hello, and welcome to the Clinical Liver Diseases video series. CLD is an official digital learning publication of the ASLD. I'm Sumaya Albahisi, an assistant professor of medicine in VCU and the author of the article titled The Influence of the Microbiome on NAFLD and NASH. NAFLD encompasses a spectrum that ranges from simple cetosis to NASH and cirrhosis. It is commonly associated with obesity, metabolic syndrome, insulin resistance, and dyslipidemia. Alterations to the intestinal microbiota, also known as dysbiosis, are thought to be associated with progression to NASH by affecting digestion, development of obesity, the immune response, and production of gut hormones. The gut microbiota are collectively an intense biochemical reactor, generating byproducts that can cross the intestinal mucosa to the portal circulation and directly to the liver. Some microbial metabolites are suspected to stimulate inflammation or cause hepatocellular injury. Most notable in this regard is LPS, which has been reportedly detected in serum of obese patients and correlated with the degree of liver injury, suggesting a link between microbiota-derived LPS and progression to NASH. Other metabolic pathways that are affected by microbiota and believed to contribute to NASH include short-chain fatty acids, ethanol, and bile acids, Furthermore, animal models reveal that antibiotic treatment, probiotics, and prebiotics can delay disease progression. In spite of the data on dysbiosis in NFLD, there is currently no evidence of a direct causative link between alterations in intestinal microbiota composition or function and NFLD development. It is also not clear whether the dysbiosis precedes the development of NFLD or results from it. An example of microbial changes in NAFLD and NASH includes that fecal samples from patients with NAFLD have decreased proportions of bacteroidetes and increased proportions of Clostridium cockides. Due to its key role of the development and pathogenesis of NAFLD and NASH, recent studies have focused on the gut microbiota as a target for therapeutic and preventive interventions. These include treatments with pro and prebiotics, symbiotic supplements, anti-diabetic drugs, and fecal microbiota transplantation. The intestinal metabolome is complex, and therefore further advances in analytical technologies and chemical structure identification methods are needed to obtain a more comprehensive understanding of microbiota-derived gut liver signaling molecules. It is also important to remember that NAFLD is a multi-system disease that involves metabolic syndrome, Thus, the microbiota composition varies wildly among NAFLD individuals, and its effects on the liver disease would involve additional environmental, genetic, and psychosocial factors. On behalf of all of us on the CLD team, I hope you have found this video about the role of gut microbiome in NAFLD and NASH useful. For more information about the influence of the gut microbiome in NAFLD and NASH, please visit us on www.cldlearning.com. Thank you for watching.